is the first time taking out my shorts on camera. <laughs> Hello my sexy giraffe BFFs, welcome back to my channel. This is Karina and today we're going to be doing a summer closet essentials video featuring basic pieces and items that you must have in your closet for this summer 2021. I do these kind of videos on a seasonal basis, so if you happen to be in a place where it's not summer right now, you can still find similar videos like this on my channel, I'll be linking them down below. So I'll be walking you guys through some of my favorite must-have basic pieces for the summer that you can mix and match with stuff in your closet and stay stylish. A big, big thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. You guys all know I'm a huge, huge fan of ThreadUp. It is hands down my favorite online thrift store because they have up to 40,000 new arrivals every single day and they carry your favorite brands like Zara, H&M, Nike. Oh, they even have luxury brands like Gucci and Burberry and also maternity line. You can find stuff on ThreadUp for like up to 90% off estimated retail price, which is such a steal and some of them are even brand new with tags. You can shop right from your phone. It's honestly great for your wallets, great for the environment. So really everyone wins. On top of the already crazy discounts at ThreadUp, they're offering you guys an extra 30% off your first order with my code Karina right here. Make sure to click the link below in the description box to start shopping. The first step on the list of basic essential summer pieces that you should have are button down shirts. They're both from Ralph Lauren because I'm just like a tiny obsessed with Ralph Lauren and just to show you how crazy the discount is this shirt is actually brand new with tags I can literally see what the original retail price is because it says right here $69.50 I got it for under $17 on ThreadUp like can you believe it this is such a steal for something that is in pristine a hundred percent condition this is what it looks like when it's on me so I got the size extra large as I usually do for Ralph Lauren on ThreadUp because I find that first of all their sizing does tend to run a little bit smaller and second I am going for that oversized comfy super relaxed like I just stole my dad or stole my boyfriend's shirt kind of feel button down or button up shirts are taking the internet by storm 2021 summer I see them everywhere they have kind of like a nautical vibe to it which I'm really really digging it just reminds me of vacay and fits that really casual vibe so I like to style these button down shirts with a matching set of shorts that is like one of the it looks but alternatively you can also style them with jeans for example and like tuck one one side of your shirt into your jean and leave the other side hanging out. I think that's cute too and I've actually seen that on a couple of celebrities. I got another color of the button down shirt so this is just a very plain linen-y white one that's also from Ralph Lauren. Got this in a size 20 W. I'm actually not sure what that means. If you guys know what that means please let me know down below in the comment box. I'm not really sure. I just checked extra large on the thread ups page and this is what came up so i'm guessing 20w is somewhat of an extra large and it actually fits me really really well just like an extra large would loving loving the quality the fabric again the worksmanship is just amazing and for the price i paid for it i think i paid $20 for this when its original estimated price was around $80. By the way, you guys, I just checked on ThreadUp's site and they have tons and tons of options and colors for these button-down shirts. So yeah, go crazy. Something about this outfit just so, so luxurious. Makes me feel like I'm on a yacht, you know? Like more of an imaginary yacht. Next on the list of summer closet essentials, we have matching tops and bottoms. A really easy way to style matching tops and bottoms is just to add a matching shorts or matching skirt to any of these button down shirts so you can have something like this you can also pair your button down shirts with a pleated skirt of the same color i think that is definitely more on the preppier side and a girlier alternative to shorts i wish i can put this on to show you you guys but Currently, at almost eight months pregnant, I am very, very limited to the amount of bottoms I can actually try on. So I'll just do this. Hope you guys can visualize it nice. And if you have a white button up, for example, or like a white top, you can match it with something like a white pleated skirt. And then, of course, you have those cohorts or those two piece sets that are already matched and paired for you. So literally, all the work is done for you. You just need to throw them on. So there's no thinking involved. It's always a good thing in the morning because I'm always hella hangry in the morning. They come in many, many different styles and colors. I actually have a whole video dedicated to easy, effortless, casual summer outfits over here if you want to check it out. Moving into crop tops for our next summer closet essentials. So these are just some of my favorite crop tops that I tend to reach for in the summertime. I believe this summer, 
What's really trendy are the itty bitty crop tops to the point where it's just like really really short almost bra like obviously that is not for everyone so i've rounded up some of my favorite tops right here i'll be linking them down below some are just plain cropped tank tops like this and then you have some that are slightly more revealing like this i also have a black one like this i think this one belongs to the itty bitty committee of crop tops there's many different styles so this one is a strapless kind of sweetheart neckline style so needless to say crop tops go with so so many different things. My go-to style tip for crop tops is to always pair it with something a little bit high-waisted so you're not wasting that space where the crop top ends and then the beginning of your bottom starts. Crop tops also has the magical ability to make your body ratio look amazing, more like a 2-8 split. So it's perfect for those of you who want your legs to look years, centuries long. You guys, I've got this Nike crop top from Thread Up as well. I think it originally estimated for about $50. $5. I got it for just 15 bucks. At the moment, none of my sports bras fit me and my pregnancy boobs. So I had to get a new one because I do want to stay in shape, especially during the last couple weeks of my pregnancy. But I also don't want to buy one for full price and just wear it for like a couple times. I managed to swipe this one a size large, which I'm truly, truly grateful for. It's the only thing that fits me. Leave me a comment down below if you're one of those people who only like to wear your sports bras when they're exercising or working out or are you one of those people that like to wear them as part of your everyday fashion. I'm definitely in the second category right now because my priority is just to stay comfy at the moment. This is something that I would definitely wear just to run errands or to like get the mail or just like taking a walk around my neighborhood. Next up on the summer closet essentials list we have denim shorts. Is it kind of obvious? <laughs> Hit that like button right now if you're like, duh, Karina, that's like all I live in in the summertime. Because me too, girl. Me too. I just have a tiny problem. Um, I can't actually fit into any of my old denim jeans or denim shorts for that matter. I went to Fred Up and I actually got myself a maternity denim short version, which I am so excited you guys have no idea how excited i was to find out that thread up actually carries maternity lines these shorts are so so comfy i actually don't want to take them off but i will i'm gonna show you guys let me just take it off <laughs> that was the first time taking off my shorts on camera there's no zipper no nothing all it has is this super duper stretchy fabric that i don't even know what this is must be some kind of like super elastane or something like look at this okay guys so i just checked how much i got this for and i can't believe it it retails originally for about 150 dollars <gasps> Oh, and the brand is Seven for All Mankind. So, you know, it's a hella great quality brand. I'm still in shock, you guys. I can't believe it. Like, the condition is immaculate. It is so freaking elastic and comfortable to the point where I'm almost considering wearing this when I'm not pregnant. Like, why don't all denim shorts come like this with an elastic band like this? Because it will be so much more friendlier for my food babies, even when you're not pregnant. Food for thought, denim companies. Food for thought. Don't worry guys, for those of you who are not pregnant, I will still be linking some of my favorite denim shorts in the description box down below. So feel free to check it out. I also know that for 2021 summer, the trend is leaning more towards slightly longer lengths for denim shorts. So instead of having like, what are they called? I think they're called like micro shorts or something. Um, the ones where you can actually like see your bum from the back. Um, so those are no longer in. And the longer length ones are trending, which I think is a slightly more classier version. And I feel like as I get older, I tend to gravitate towards longer length denim shorts anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Another basic item that I recommend you guys to have in your closet for summer 2021 is basic, easy dresses that you can just throw on without thinking too much and that goes with a lot of your accessories and footwear. These are just some of my favorite casual dresses that I'll be reaching for in the summer if I don't want to be thinking too much because it's literally one piece and then you're set, you're ready to go. So I have a white one here, a black one here. I feel like white and black are like absolute closet essentials. And then I have this gorgeous sun 
sunflower colored one for days when I want to feel a little bit like brighter and put like a fun and colorful spin on my outfit. I'm also a giant fan of linen dresses like what I'm wearing right now. This is from Free People. I got it on ThreadUp and originally it was $150 but I managed to get it for just 30 bucks. Again, amazing quality, feels practically like brand new, never been worn, just perfect for any sort of summer outing, whether you're going to like walk your dog, going to the grocery store, bumping into your ex accidentally on purpose. It's a great closet staple to have. And on top of the dress, you can even throw on something like a sweater, just tied around your shoulders or you can simply just like drape the arms of this onto the sides of your shoulders I think that's cute too super super chic and effortless let's talk about shoes I want to know if you're someone who is leaning more towards sneakers for the summertime or these type of sandals for summertime I feel like sneakers you can wear like literally year-round all four seasons but sandals are something you can only wear in the summertime so I tend to gravitate more towards sandals, but yeah, leave me a comment and let me know which one is more of your style. I would say both are key closet essential pieces for me, especially in the summertime because there will be days when you're going to be like out and about for the entire day and you want to be comfy, you want to be in something that you know is reliable and that your feet won't hurt in, then I'll go for running shoes. Or if you're just looking to like get out of the door ASAP, then I'll go for something like this. We're definitely seeing more of like a toning down in terms of like the extra for sneakers especially like dad sneakers where you have like you know all colors of the rainbow on one shoe like I think that's slightly out and what's trendy are these like clean type of like minimalistic sneakers with sometimes a logo pop on the side like this one right here I know that New Balance is making quite a comeback in terms of ramping up their designs and like no joke I just placed an order for the 990 V5 so that's gonna come and I cannot wait to try it on and show you guys let me know if you want to see like a sneakers collection video. And then we have something like this that is just like your overall very clean cut, minimalistic design, white little sneaker with a little color pop at the back here. This is actually a very, very close dupe to the Alexander Wang sneakers. So don't worry, I'll be popping them down below in the description box so you guys can all shop. And then in terms of sandals, I'm seeing so, so much of platform flip-flops. It is so hard to say that. You guys try saying that. Platform flip-flops. Oh, of course, when I don't try it, like it's like perfect. So these two are the ones that I got. They're both also on the more minimalistic side and the platform is not too crazy. I know if you're a giant fan of Y2K, then you might go for the flip flops that are like, I don't know, like six inches high or something. Yeah, these ones are just maybe like two to three inches. So they give you a little bit of boost of a height and it's still relatively easy to walk in. Okay, time for accessories. So first, let me go through with you what I think the it bag of summer 2021 is and it's definitely these tote bags in particular canvas tote bag not gonna lie you guys i was really really late hopping onto this trend because for some reason it just like reminds me of grocery bags so i have a black one right here and i have these two canvas this one is super cute with like a floral graphic design and let me tell you after taking it out for a day i actually get it like I understand now what the hype is with all of these tote bags because you can literally put like your entire life in here. Still looks super stylish with whatever you're wearing that day. Definitely will be linking these and some of my other favorites down below. Let's not forget about sunnies. These guys are like on my lifeline in the summertime. I have an embarrassing stash of sunglasses but realistically these two are the only ones that I reach for from on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me show you what this one looks like. It just looks like this. It's super oversized. I feel like this is the perfect sunny if you want that like extra glam look. Especially, especially if you don't want people to come up to you and like talk to you for no reason. Just put on these sunnies. Whenever I'm wearing either this one or this one, I always get so many questions from my IG family on where they're from and I'll be linking them down below. But yeah, these two are the ones that I rotate. Let's not forget about hair accessories. Clock clips made a comeback last year. This year, they're still going strong. These two are the ones I want to talk to you guys about because these are the ones that are like the largest ones that I could find. Um, if you're like me and you have super, super long hair, it can be extremely difficult to pull your hair up in a claw clip. Oh my God, what is this? Ha. Ah. Oh, I have a cute children's daisy clip for a grown ass woman. That's cute. Let me just show you guys. So like, I just do something like this and then I twist it. By the time I come up, I pull this part down 
and this is the only claw clip that can hold my hair in place without it sliding down because I've tried so many other ones and like all of them just are either too small or too weak saws and like my hair just always never stays up. These two are so affordable and they actually keep my hair up so I'll be linking them down below as well. Okay guys, that is it for the summer closet essentials video. Let me know if there's anything that I might have missed that you reach for on a consistent basis in the summertime. And don't forget to check out ThreadUp. You can use Karina for an extra 30% off your first order. I love you all and have a great day, week, summer, year, heart. Platform flip flops, flip flop with the the the. Ah! Oh. No no no! Oh, closet.